Another one of media's responsibilities is to make fun of whoever's in charge, but it's not always easy if the person in power belongs to a group that's historically disempowered. Fortunately for comedians, that doesn't happen much. But we may soon have a black woman as vice president, and joking about her could prove tricky. So here to help me out is Saturday Night Live cast member, actor and comedian Chris Redd. Welcome to the show, Chris. So good to have you here. What's going on, man? It's good to be here and in my house. We're trying to navigate how to make Kamala Harris jokes, right? And still be invited to the cookout. So tonight's lightning round is yeah. Black Jokes Matter or Hands Up Don't Joke. Okay, so here's how it works. Okay. okay, I'll name a Kamala Harris topic and you tell me if it's Black Jokes Matter, meaning it's okay to joke about it, or Hands Up Don't Joke, meaning don't even think about joking about that. Okay, you ready? Okay, okay all right. Let's go. Kamala is very good at communicating non verbally. Is this black jokes matter? We can make fun of this or hands up, don't joke about that? Black jokes matter, man. Because really? Within these jokes, we can educate oh, okay. the white people on what these looks are. They look that's at that like, that's a nice black woman. <laughs> what that says is, you lying, nigga. <laughs> Keep on lying. Because I have so many. So many strong women in my family yeah. who's giving me all those looks. Exactly. Kamala reminds me of my auntie. I forged my mom's signature one time, uh -huh. and, my, and my auntie just popped in like, now you know he forged your signature, <laughs> and he is failing. Huh, you shouldn't be lying. So she was a snitch. She was, yeah, right. she was. But she's also a great auntie, and she can cook really well. So snitching was not her old identity. All right, let's go to the next one. What about her husband, Doug Emhoff? Can we joke about him? I roast the hell out that man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote that that man got a so, strong ass neck. So behind uh, every black woman is a strong naked white man <laughs> who's very supportive. Wait, naked? Naked. Okay, when you said naked, I thought you mean he was literally <laughs> naked. Yeah. No, no, I'm sure he has clothes on both times. I agree with you, black jokes still matter. But hands up, be careful joking about that he's Jewish. We love we love the Jews. The Jews are the niggas of <laughs> white people, you know what I'm saying? Let me just reiterate what Chris just said. Lightning Round loves Jewish people. <laughs> Kamala dances a lot. Black jokes matter or hands yeah. up, don't joke about that? She got rhythm, man. So I, I will say that's, uh, you know, black jokes matter. I think it's refreshing to see a politician whose hip flexors are open. I mean, look at the difference between her uh, and Trump. <laughs> Trump looks like he's turning off a lot of string light. He's like, oh, oh this addict got exactly. so many lights on. What about Kamala's musical taste because remember she told Charlemagne she listened to Tupac yeah. and Snoop Dogg do we say hands up don't joke or black jokes matter on this black jokes matter man she just picked a rapper the last rapper she heard while she was driving to church really in the car they played Tupac she was like I'm gonna say Tupac because I like this song. Are you sure you sh you want to make fun of this? Like, I don't know if I want to give white people like Fox and Friends the chance to kind of thugify Kamala by saying she likes, you know, <laughs> this type of music. Or it's like she's less black because she doesn't know what she's talking about. I don't know. I might hands up, don't, don't joke about this. But it did worry me when they said, well, who do you like right now that's on it? And she mentioned Bone Thugs and Harmony. I just thought that was a little out of what the current <laughs> music is. I also miss my <laughs> Uncle Charles, dog. <laughs> <laughs> 